While many a fan, if not most of them, have long since lost faith in the decision-making abilities of the baseball cap-clad boss Kevin Feige, Marvel Cinematic Universe star Robert Downey Jr. says that despite all of the franchise's ups and downs, riding off the ability of the head producer is a losing bet. The iconic Iron Man actor offered his thoughts on the current state of the MCU while speaking with Esquire's publication in its April-May 2024 issue. As Downey's interview was coming to a close following a lengthy discussion in which topics ranged from the love of his wife Susan to the upcoming role in HBO's The Sympathizer, Downey Jr. was asked by the host if he would ever return to his role as the MCU's founding father, especially now that he has won an Academy Award for the supporting role as Admiral Louis Strauss in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. In return, the actor proudly declared, quote, Happily, it's too integral a part of my DNA. That role chose me. Notably, despite Downey Jr.'s openness to reprising his career revitalizing role, Marvel Studios has previously affirmed that they have absolutely zero intention of revisiting the Armored Avengers story following his heroic death in the Avengers Endgame. But at the same time, as much as Disney may want him to return, as it'll be a big boost in viewers, they can't bring him back. Downey has tapped himself out with his massive contract. His compensation for Endgame consisted of an upfront salary of $20 million, along with an additional 8% back-end profit from the movie's box office. This back-end deal translated to approximately $55 million, earning him a staggering $75 million alone for one movie. He also had a similar, if not the same, contract for Infinity War, which means the Avengers' final two movies, which cost anywhere from $350 to $400 million, Downey's salary alone made up 5% of both movies' budgets. And that's for one man. But Downey shared his inner thoughts on the turmoil of Marvel and his belief in Kevin Feige saying, quote, And look, I always say, never ever bet against Kevin Feige. It's a losing bet. He's the house. He always wins. But asked how the studio was planning to make the various plot threads of Phase 4 come together in service to the franchise's larger narrative during the February 2023 interview with Gizmo, Marvel Studios VP of Productions and Development Stephen Browsard asserted, quote, well, I think one of the meta-narratives of Phase 4 was about new characters. It was about new people stepping into the mantles. If you look at, like, Casey Lang in Quantumania getting a suit, and Kate Bishop in Hawkeye, new characters being introduced like Jack the Werewolf by night, after these first 10 years of Marvel storytelling, torches are being passed, like with Robert Downey Jr. no longer being on the table, and stuff like that. So it was kind of like a new generation stepping to the forefront, which again has always happened in the comics. Likewise, speaking to Vanity Fair for the December 2023 cover on Downey Jr., Feige asserted that despite the studio's recent turn of reviving various characters who have met their apparent end, Agent Coulson, Vision, and Loki, to name just a few, they had no intention of giving this treatment to Tony Stark. Quote, We are going to keep that moment and not touch that moment again. We all worked very hard for many years to get to that, and we would never want to magically undo it in any way. Admittedly, these public sentiments do suggest a bit of hope towards the idea that Marvel may actually at least treat one of their IPs with respect, rather than reviving him for a quick buck. However, this is still Hollywood, and given how the MCU is absolutely bleeding ticket sales, it should be noted that there exists a distinct non-zero possibility that Disney could reverse course and once again place their franchise hopes on Downey Jr.'s shoulders. And even if they don't outright revive Tony Stark, their recent reliance on the multiverse as a storytelling device had a very easy way for Marvel to lazily bring him back by any way of a variant version of the hero. Which I believe that they will, but just not Downey. I, I'm leaning towards that certain heroes will be replaced in the upcoming MCU multiverse merger, destruction, or restructure, wherever it is. Like Ruffalo being let out the pasture for a younger actor now that the Hulk franchise is about to come back to Disney. And also like a version of Iron Man coming back, just not Downey's. And people like Anthony Mackie's Falcon becoming the Captain America for the foreseeable future. So what you have is rebirth, rewrite, and continuation. But all in all, since we got a little off track, Robert Downey Jr. wants you to know that Kevin Feige shouldn't be counted out and that Marvel could once again rear forward and become the pinnacle of superhero cinema. And I tend to disagree. I would say yes, Feige made a wonderful phase one through three. Some movies were all right, but in general, the overarching story was good. 
but this recent period of releases has showed a weakness of Feige. He has begun to grow a little complacent. He believed that Marvel was untouchable, because just look at the state of DC, and he didn't think anything they released could be bad. Then we get Disney+, Plus and the recent spat of movies with critical reviews. That's because Feige allowed others to call the shot, and he regulated responsibility to those individuals. In fact, if it wasn't for the SAG after strike, we were definitely going to get another Crapfest TV show with Disney's Daredevil Born Again. But now, after doing a little bit of yelling and getting angry and demanding rewrites and changes, we know that Feige is having to step back into being the boss of Marvel. But how long will he do that? We also know that there are certain people who have bounced from Marvel Project to Marvel Project because they can't fire them. But instead, they just let them wreak havoc from project to project before moving them again. So, I don't believe Feige can fix Marvel. Just because I, I think he's ready to retire. Or at least remove as much of the work off his shoulders as he can. Which is and why it will lead to more and more decline of Marvel. And usher in a true beginning of superhero fatigue where something such as Batman or Robert Downey Jr. returning as Iron Man couldn't make us go to the theater.